What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We're about to head on the road to work on the Green Land Cruiser. Um, thank you guys for subscribing, and liking our videos and coming back to check us out. Before we head out today, I wanted to give a special thanks and shout out to my good friend, Denny, known him forever. He's got a couple of sayings he likes. One is the closest distance between two people is a smile. So Denny, that's for you. He also likes to say it is what it is, which I think is whatever. And he also keeps telling me to watch what I say in these videos and uh, try to act more professional and watch my mouth. So, Danny, this one's for you. I try to behave, uh, still have a good time. We make these videos, we're blessed to do these builds. So thanks again, guys, for subscribing, hit the like button and uh, share our page. Thanks, guys. I'm sitting at the big boss's office at Unique Fabrication. Hi, Adam. If he finds out I'm in his chair, he might uh, kill me. He's actually at the 17th door haunted house. Make sure you guys check that out in Fullerton. Soaking in the AC, dropping off a big bag of sour gummy octopus for Mike and Dusty. We're gonna take some measurements on the Beige Land Cruiser today for the custom exhaust that uh, the guys at Unique Fabrication will be doing on the Green Land Cruiser. So. We'll head out to the back of the shop in a few, take some measurements, and get started. We're at Unique Fabrication with Dusty, head fabricator, looking underneath the Land Cruiser to see what we need to do to make the custom exhaust. Guys are thinking about ordering a new cat and a new muffler, and then doing it, dumping out right over the axle in the rear. So it's gonna be exciting, do something different with the green Land Cruiser, mix it up and make it a little more custom. The guys at Unique do a lot of custom work. So we're checking out this old school truck to see how they're building the exhaust and we'll do something similar on our Green Land Cruiser. Uh, we'll be putting a new cat and new muffler on the Land Cruiser. So we're checking out different options and sizes. It's a beautiful morning here in California, sunny California, waiting for my Lyft driver to uh, take me to Max Performance to pick up the Beige Land Cruiser. They fixed the steering box for us, updated the suspension, um, also changed out the brake cylinder. So the brakes are now fixed with the bare rotors, brake pads, and um, also fixed the AC, put a new condenser for us. So car's pretty much totally done. Um, we just got to put on the Tapui tent and we got a surprise. We got some new candy red Rhino wheels coming to Wheel Warehouse for SEMA. So I'm gonna wait for my Lyft driver, head up to Max Performance to pick up the Beige Land Cruiser and head on the road. Holy crap, what are the chances of this? I get into my Lyft and Denny's dad is my driver. Hey, what's up guys? So we just picked up the Land Cruiser from Max Performance. He did a bunch of maintenance for us. He replaced the AC condenser. So now we've got AC, thank God. He replaced the stabilizer bar for the suspension. Um, also tightened the steering box to replace that. Just so wanted to make sure this thing drove better. Um, cold AC now, and for you guys who think these bills are cheap, you see, this is just the after maintenance, the new AC compressor, dryer, new belt, the Freon. And then you can see he also did the stabilizer, uh, the steering stabilizer shock. And then we also upgraded the brakes. He did the new master cylinder and then flushed uh, the brake system. So big thanks to Mex, to Alex from Mex Performance and his team. I'm gonna close up the hood jump on the road and head to work on the Green Land Cruiser. Thanks again, Max, Alex and the team for uh, always coming through, getting this baby ready for the road. We are walking in slow motion. Luis's test, you can't do that, Danny, you gotta edit it. We're testing the suspension, oh, the new motor. Look at that, the brakes work. Tell me the brakes work. Work. Yes. 
But it was, Ricardo said it was all Land Cruisers. Ricardo's is full of pendejos. Hurry up! Alright, so we're gonna take off the full cargo basket because that's gonna go in the green one and the Tapui tent is gonna go in the beige one. Gonna install it on the green Land Cruiser and put the new Tapui tent that Luis is gonna paint on the lake. So people were asking why we changed the AC condenser. So with the Land Cruisers, a lot of times they leak, they're just old. So now we replaced everything, added Freon, so the AC works perfectly. But that's a big question we have is why we updated the AC. Same thing with the Green Land Cruiser. As you can see right here, the leak. Uh, so we got a new condenser, a new radiator for the Green Land Cruiser. A big thing also, you'll see the stock stabilizer. And then, so you'll see here two mechs and his team replaced everything. Big issue going with the 35s is it was a bit wonky on the freeway. So he tightened the steering box, replaced the shock and the stabilizer. So that was key for that. And then on the brakes, they said we updated the bare rotors. Can't see them behind the rhino wheels, but the rotors and the brake pads. Um, so we had to replace the brake master cylinder just so it just braked better. As we said, as I said, these are older 94 models. And a big thing for us was just updating them, make sure they're safe on the road. They drive smooth and um, AC's cranking and they brake properly on the freeway and also on the local roads and also when we take it out to the desert. A detail on this grill compared to the beige grill. Luis's dad is not sanding this. We're gonna leave the Toyota emblem chrome and then the rest of the grill is gonna go matte black to match the flares. So here are some of the parts that are going matte black. Corner lights, grill, trim pieces. So right now, Franco test fitted the wheels, tires, front flares are on. Gonna bolt on the rear flares, check on the clearance. Important too, before you put on the flares, we put on the trim and the molding so it doesn't rub on the paint. So you'll notice here, Frank already put the molding on before installation. Peaks and the fuel wheels. Check in the link below. These are roughly an inch wider than the black rhinos on the Sandstorm Land Cruiser. Another key detail that's overlooked on the Land Cruisers is you'll notice 
the moldings, the pillars are all matte black. So that's something Luis and his team did. The mirrors will be black. All the trim will be black. Just little details. Dixon, the flares, black trim, black trim. So the last thing that was done is the new windshield was just put in. OEM molding all around. So the front windshield's done. You see the seats inside. The windshield's a little dirty, but windows in, all new glass, sides, front and rear, and all new OEM moldings. Just got home after picking up the Sandstorm Land Cruiser at Max Performance, spending the day with Luis and his team at the body shop. You saw we made a lot of progress on the green Land Cruiser. Still have some work to do, um, finish some details, get the front end on, which is the new Japanese headlights, corner lights, the grill. Um, we need to put on the front bumper and then button up the rear and then finish the kicker audio. Our goal is to have the Green Land Cruiser done by next week so we could jump fully into the Ranger project. So thank you guys for following us. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm not the idiot. Danny's an idiot. So you saw in the beginning of the video, that was his dad. He just, Danny's old and he doesn't even know what his dad looks like. Speaking of old, I just wanna say I feel blessed today. I turned 41, almost as old as Denny, but I've been doing this since I was 16 uh, with my wife, my brother, and our team. Um, so it's been 25 years. Leave a comment below on when you started building, designing, playing with cars, and uh, if you still enjoy it. Thanks for watching the video. Try to wrap up the Green Land Cruiser by next week and then start on the Ranger for Ford, who's coming to visit us next week. So we'll be able to share some behind the scene footage as we get closer to SEMA. We're also picking up a Santa Fe project that we're doing for Hyundai. And there's also gonna be a very cool Porsche project, the new Cayman that we're doing with uh, Daily Visual. We're wrapping it for breast cancer um, which I'm kind of excited about, um, as our friend Dean just fought his battle with cancer. So we got a lot of stuff coming up, finish the Land Cruiser, work on the Ranger, the Santa Fe, and the special Porsche project that we're doing that'll be done by end of September. Thanks again for checking us out, subscribing to our page, our channel. Sorry, Denny, subscribing to our channel. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see you guys next week.